Hi everyone, it's Jeff here from Avada. In this video, I will take a look at how to use postcards in Avada. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon to be notified of all new content. Okay, let's begin. In Avada, a postcard is a layout template for all your custom post types, including blog posts, portfolio posts, FAQs, events, and WooCommerce products. The process of using postcards in Avada is that you first create and design a postcard in the Avada Builder Library, and then using the postcards element, your individual custom post type items are displayed in various ways on your pages and in your layouts using your chosen postcard as the design. They introduce a massive amount of flexibility into the layout and display of custom post types. Let's go through it one step at a time. I've imported the Avada Business Coach website here. To get started, I'll head to the Avada Builder Library. And as we can see here, one of the library elements you can create is a postcard. I'll call this one Blog Postcard and click on Create New Element. You can also just hit Enter. This brings me to Avada Live as that's the builder I've set in the Builder Options to use by default. See the How to Use the Avada Builder Options documentation link below for more information on that. Once you have created your postcard, you can start building from scratch, or you can use one of the pre-built postcards. To access these, simply click the Library icon in the toolbar, and head to the Studio tab. Here you will find a variety of pre-built postcards including portfolio, blog, and product postcards. As these are all dynamic content, they can be used exactly as they are, or they can be used as a starting point for your postcard design and edited further. Some are multi-purpose, and some are very specific. This is a very quick and easy way to get started with postcards. For this video, however, I will build a postcard from the ground up. The first thing I'll do is to set the dynamic content options. So I'll head to the Page Options, and the Preview tab, and set the View Dynamic Content As option. As you can see, postcards can display any type of custom post type and their content, including terms like categories, products, events, and portfolios. But for this example, I'll set this to Post. I'll also just choose a specific post here, and as I'm thinking of a three-column grid on the front end, I'll set the preview width to about 30 and click Preview. Okay, so now as I build this postcard, the builder will use the content from that specific post to show me how this will look with real content. I'll start by editing this column, and on the Design tab, I think I'll add a 10 pixel border radius all the way around the column. And I might also go to the Background tab and give it a light gray background color. I will just choose color 2 and add some transparency in the alpha channel to lighten it slightly. Okay, so now for some content. When first adding elements to your postcard, you are met with a Layout Elements tab. This is because a postcard will be pulling dynamic content into the layout, and so dynamic layout elements are the main components. You can, of course, also use design elements in your postcard, like a title element with dynamic content options. As this will be a blog postcard, I'll start with the postcard image element. This pulls the featured image or images from a custom post type. I will set the layout to crossfade for any posts that have multiple featured images, but otherwise I'm happy with the defaults here. As you can see, there are also some specific options for Woo product images. Now I'll add a title element. I'll start with the General tab and set the content itself to be dynamic. I'll choose Title for this. I might also turn Title Link on here, and via Dynamic Content Options, set the link URL to be the permalink. Then I'll head to the Design tab and customize the alignment, the heading, and the font size. I'll also adjust the margins on this one as well. The next layout element I will add is the content element. This will pull the content from the post. I will set it to excerpt, and set the excerpt length at 18. On the design tab, I'll set the alignment to center, and I will set some right and left margin around it. The final layout element I'll add is the meta element. Most of the other layout elements are specifically for WooCommerce postcards. I might just customize the content a bit here to leave only the author, published date, and reading time as enabled. And when I'm done with that, I will head to the Design tab. I'll align this to the center, and change the border color to color 3. I'll also add a bit of padding on each side. I'll use padding instead of margins as I want the lines to continue to the edges. And then I'll add a bit of bottom margin here as well. Finally, I'll add a button element. I'll start by making the button URL to be the permalink via the dynamic content options. I'll also give it some text. Let's call this Read Now. And then I'll just head to the Design tab. 
I'll leave the style on default and just set the button span to yes. OK, I also want my grid items to be the same height when I add them to the page. This is achieved for the grid itself in the actual postcards element by simply choosing a stretch alignment. But due to my design, I'm going to have to also add a flexible separator in the postcard design to ensure that the elements within the grid stay aligned as I wish and the button stays at the bottom. So I'll add a separator element below the title here, set the style to no style, and on the design tab I'll set flex grow to 1. This separator ensures that the space between the title and the excerpt will grow as needed to keep the elements below in the same place. OK, so now I'll save my postcard, and now it's time to go and add this into a page via the postcards element. Alright, so I'm on the articles page here, and I'm going to replace this blog element with the postcards element to create a new layout for this page. I'll just add this in, and choose my preferred options. I'll choose the new postcard to display, and the default settings are pretty good for what I want. I'll just go to the Design tab and set the alignment to Stretch, and now we can see the grid items are all the same height, and that the space between the title and excerpt changes when a title goes across a different number of lines, so that the elements below are still aligned. It won't matter so much in my case, as I also want to reduce the number of columns to three, and when there's more room, all the titles stay on one line. But on smaller screens and tablets, this may not be the case, so this design will work well in those situations. OK, for a full rundown on using the actual postcards element, please see the postcards element documentation linked below. OK, so there's my new blog post layout using postcards in Avada. This is how I'd set it up here, but you can display them in many different ways. See the postcard layouts in Avada video for more details on that. And in the same way as I have made a blog post layout here, I could also create a blog category postcard, WooCommerce postcards, or one for any other custom post type. If we quickly look in the Avada Builder Library on the Avada Retail website, we can see there are many postcards in use on this site. There are several blog layouts, and a full 8 WooCommerce postcards. There are postcards for product grids, list views, and categories. On the home page here, there are three different postcards being used a number of times as we scroll down. From the product grid postcard, the Product Categories postcard, a Blog Layout postcard, and another instance of both the Categories and the Product Grid postcard. Likewise on the Vegan Store, there are 13 postcards displaying recipes, articles, reviews, categories and products in a variety of styles. So to really explore postcards, you might want to download one of these pre-built sites to check them out at your leisure. OK, so that's Postcards in Nevada. Thanks for watching and let us know in the comments if you're using postcards on your site. OK, that's it for this video. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos. And if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.